fight the Lord's battles. 1 Samuel, chapter 18, verse 17. The blessed army of God's elect is warring still on earth, Jesus Christ being the captain of their salvation. He has said, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Hark to the shouts of war. Now let the people of God stand fast in their ranks, and let no man's heart fail him. It is true that just now in England, the battle is turned against us, and unless the Lord Jesus will lift his sword, we know not what may become of the church of God in this land, but let us be of good courage and act like men. There never was a day when Protestantism seemed to tremble more in the scales than now, that a fierce effort is made to restore the Antichrist to his ancient seat. We greatly want a bold voice and a strong hand to preach and publish the old gospel for which martyrs bled and confessors died. The Saviour is still on earth by his Spirit, let this cheer us. He is ever in the midst of the fight, and therefore the battle is not doubtful. And as the conflict rages, what a sweet satisfaction it is to know that the Lord Jesus, in his office as our great intercessor, is prevalently pleading for his people. O oh, anxious gazer, do not look so much at the battle below, for there you will be covered in smoke and amazed with garments rolled in blood. But lift your eyes above where the Saviour lives and pleads, for while he intercedes, the cause of God is safe. Let us fight as if it all depended upon us, but let us look up and know that it all truly depends upon him. Now, we charge you, who are lovers of Jesus, by the lilies of Christian purity, and by the roses of the Saviour's atonement, by the rose and by the hinds of the field, to do valiantly in the holy war, for truth and righteousness, and for the kingdom and crown jewels of your Master. Onward, for the battle is not yours but God's. Amen.